Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be decluttering my powder drawer. As you can see, I have a gazillion powders and I really need to go through them and probably get rid of some. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of a lot, to be honest with you. I really wanna use a lot of these but I will never get through these in my lifetime. So um, some of them are pressed powders, some of them are like loose setting powders. So first is the Burt's Bees powder. This is a powder foundation. Mine is totally destroyed. I had this in my makeup bag in my purse and my daughter was playing with my makeup. I let her play with like this and the blush and like a couple eyeshadows and she was having a ball and she destroyed the thing. But I didn't really have much in there. Like I've been using this for months now cause I have it in my purse. So I'm gonna keep that and use it up. Another one I've been using is the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. This is just, I'm not foundation, a powder, sorry. This is a shine proof powder. I really like this. I've been using this all over my face. So what I do is just put on concealer and then put this all over my face. And I really like the way it looks on my skin, I'm keeping that. This is one of my new favorites. It's the Pretty Vulgar. The powder room matte about it translucent setting powder this is a really good powder i really really like it and i just got another one in my last month's boxy charm so now i have two and i'm definitely going to keep the other one because i really like this to set especially my under eyes so i have two of these another powder i recently had purchased was the kat von d lock it translucent powder i like this i'm going to keep it this is a newer one as well it's the milk makeup uh translucent light go what is it called I don't know, it's just the Milk Makeup, oh, Blur and Set Powder. I'm gonna keep this, because it's new. I love the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Loose Powder. This is one of my favorites. I actually just recently bought this. You know, this is a lot of people's holy grail. It was talked about a lot. I never tried it before, so I decided to purchase it during one of the Sephora sales. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and I got the one in Translucent. So I'm gonna keep this because it's new. Another loose powder I like is the RCMA No Color Powder. This one is really good. I'm also gonna keep the Delectable The Everything Powder. You can use this for several, you can use it in your hairs, dry shampoo. You can use it in your like shoes. Um, it says hair, hands, feet, body. So it has 21 plus uses. This is basically cornstarch. It does have um, other ingredients in it. Cornstarch, aloe vera, vitamin E, no parabens, phthalates, mineral oil, petroleum, or triclosan. Um, it is cruelty free. I got it at Ulta. I do like this. It has a little bit of a sweet scent. I like the smell of it and I like the way it looks. This is another new one I bought. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. Um, I need to play with this some more. I've used it a few times, but I need to play with it more to see how I feel about it, but it's new, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm not doing so well yet. So I put all the ones that were on my vanity desk, I put them on top here so that all my powders would be here in one area for the declutter. So that's why all the ones on top I'm keeping because those were in my like everyday drawer. So this one as well, it's the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I really like this. I think it looks really good under the eyes and all over the face. I love my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This was also in my everyday drawer. Um, this does have a, like a peachy tint to it. I like the way it looks under my eyes and face and the way it smells. The only thing is it does darken my concealer a little bit. So I have to set my entire face when I use this, but I do like it. Um, this one I've been trying to use up forever and a day. This is a really good powder. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This one. Like I have less than half of this left, so I'm gonna keep this because I'm trying to use this up. I've been trying forever, and I'm sorry my hands are like beyond dry. Ugh, looks so disgusting. All right, so this is another newer one here. This is the number seven translucent perf perfect light loose setting powder. I really like this. I bought this maybe mid last year. I really like it, so I need to pull this out and play with it. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is by CoverGirl. It's the Professional Loose Powder, and I have number 105. It's the lightest shade. Um, it has a really old school CoverGirl scent. I don't like the way it smells. I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, so here's two Flower Beauty powders. Um, one I like, one I do not like. Um, so I like the Miracle Matte. I do not like the Satin Finish Powder. This one has little glitter particles in it, and I don't like that at all. So, and the packaging is so bulky. Yeah, it has like tiny little shimmers. Tiny little 
sparkles. I, I don't like that, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna keep this one. It's the translucent one. This one's really good. It makes me look super flawless, but I think it does have flashback. So I definitely can't use this when I'm going to take pictures with the flash. So this one is the Essence Brighten Up. I have this in my every makeup, everyday makeup drawer. I really like this. I'm going to keep it. This one is one I've been using as well. It's the Kiko Milano Radiant Fusion Baked Powder. I like this because it has like a baked consist consistency, but it's not like over drying. I don't know. I like it. Packaging's pretty. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep both of these. <laughs> these are the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I have Fair Light and Fair. These are really good loose setting powders from the drugstore. This one's just super light and this one has a little bit more yellow to it. So I'm gonna keep both. This one was sent to me from Gorgeous Cosmetics. I honestly, I haven't used it a whole lot, but it feels nice and smooth. I'm gonna keep this, I need to play with it. Um, this is the Gorgeous Cosmetics Prism Powder Highlighter. Well, this should be in the highlighter drawer. I don't know, this is like not even a highlight. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a matte highlight, but it has a pink undertone. I don't like this. I'm going to get rid of that. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blend Powder. Actually, this is pretty much gone. I'm get rid of this because I pretty much used it up. So this is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I have translucent light. I don't like this. I know a lot of people do like this, but for me, this just, I don't know, there was something about the consistency and the way it like set my under eyes. It just looked dry and kind of cakey and I don't like this. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder Baked Face Compact. Um, this was domed, but I've used up a lot of this. I really like this powder. I need to pull it out and use it up. So I'm gonna put that in my everyday makeup drawer. This one I used a lot too. It's the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. I like to just use concealer and then put this all over my face. It has a really nice smooth texture to it. So I'm gonna keep that. This one I need to play with um, some more. I don't know how I feel about this. It's the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. Um, it's just translucent. I don't remember what I think about this. I'm gonna have to put this in my everyday makeup drawer and see if I wanna keep it or not. Maybe like I did with my foundation declutter, I'll like go a few days and then think about some of these other ones that I'm keeping to see if I wanna get rid of them. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Hard Candy Color Correct Baked Powder. It's like a pink powder. I'm never gonna use this. Getting rid of that. This is by Lorac and it is the Wet Dry Powder. I hit pan on it. Um, should I keep this and use it up or should I get rid of it? I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I never use it anymore. This Hard Candy Color Correct Finishing Powder. It's just like a multicolored powder. I don't know, it has a little bit of a sheen. Eh, I'm just gonna get rid of it. This is the Sephora Compact, no, Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. I need to pull this out. It feels really soft. Yeah, I wanna put that in my everyday makeup drawer because I like, lately I've been liking to use the concealer with the powders and no liquid foundation, so I'm gonna try that. This is the Photo Balm by The Balm. This is, is this a powder foundation? Or is this a powder foundation? I'm gonna keep this as well. I need to play with it some more. I'm gonna keep both of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I have Luminous Light. I need to pull these out and play with them more. I just forget about stuff I have. And then this one here is Dim Light. I'm gonna keep those. So this is the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. I like this, it has a nice smooth texture to it. And it's almost like a satin finish. I really like this. I'm gonna keep this, I need to pull it out. So maybe now that I'm getting rid of some, I can move some to the front or put that one in my everyday makeup drawer as well. This I'm getting rid of, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. It's like two sections, one's matte, one's like, has kind of like a sheen. I don't know, I didn't love this. I feel like there's little small sparkles in the glowy side, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Fit Me Powders by Maybelline. I have the Set and Smooth. Gosh, I haven't used these in forever. But I think I'm gonna keep that for sure. And then this one's the Matte and Poreless, which is a little bit darker. I don't know, that one feels pretty matte. 
I think I'm going to get rid of the matte one. And this is by Abby St. Clair. It's a more natural skincare brand. I really like this powder. It's the Baked Mineral Foundation. It's really soft. It gives a nice smooth finish to the skin. Um, it's just a little bit too pink for me, I think. Yeah, it is. It's pretty pink. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I do like the formula a lot. I'll have to see if they have a better color match, but this one's in Victorian. I really like the finish of this, but it's a little bit too pink for me, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. I wanted to compare it to this RCMA one a long time ago, and I just never got around to it. But I need to use this more. I haven't used it enough, so I'm going to keep it. This is the e.l.f. Finishing Powder. Ooh, it feels soft, and it doesn't have a lot of coverage, which would be good for when you have liquid foundation so you don't add all too much more coverage. I'm gonna keep this for now. This is the Et Cosmetics Foundation, Celebration Foundation Illumination. I didn't really like this. I just feel like it emphasizes my flaws. So getting rid of that. This is super old. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's by Milani, the powder foundation. This, do they, I think they still carry this actually. Oh, that feels so smooth. Okay, I'm gonna keep that for now. I wanna test it out. I haven't used it in so long, I don't remember if I liked it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. This is an Ofra powder, I'm gonna get rid of this. It's the Pressed Powder Oil Control. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And this is Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. Wow, I don't even remember having this. That looks like it has nice coverage. I'm gonna keep this for now and test it out to see if I wanna keep it for sure. These are the Maybelline Better Skin, which I really like this line because I feel like the powder's not too drying. So let's see, I have two shades. I'm gonna get rid of this one, it looks a little more pink. And this one is Classic Ivory and this one is Porcelain. So I'm getting rid of Classic Ivory. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. Oh, I used to like this. Oh my gosh, some of these powders are just like way in the back and I don't know, I don't even know I have them. What is going on with this? Whoa, I'm getting rid of this. This is Milani Prep Set and Go Translucent Face Powder. I don't know. Do you see that? It like looks like snow. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of that one. Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Powder Foundation. Oh, I used to love this. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is old. I haven't used it in a long time, but it's pretty much almost gone. So yeah, that one's done. I'm gonna keep this one. This one is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Powder. I like this because it has more of like a satiny finish. It's not shimmery or glittery. This is old. It's the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. Um, I almost used the whole thing up. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the Wet n Wild Press Powder. I'm gonna keep this. Doesn't have a lot of coverage. Whoa, it sure does look like it there. Wow, I don't remember it having a lot of coverage. I need to play with that more. I need a wipe. Ugh. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think I like that. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Powder. You can only find this at Walmart. They have several shades. I used to like this a lot, so I'm gonna keep it. I need to play with it and see if I wanna keep it for real, but for now I'm keeping this. The Japanesque Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. I'm gonna keep this for now. I need to play with it some more. This I'm getting rid of. It's the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. I don't know, should I get rid of that? Yeah, I don't. Think, I never use that, I'm getting rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's the Your Minerals by Sweden Translucent Veil. I never use it, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator. I like this, but it does create flashback. Oh my gosh, something's leaking in here. So I have a little mini Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this City Color HD Powder. Never use that. 
I'm gonna keep the mini of the Laura Mercier. This one is another one, I think. Oh, this is loose setting powder, and this one is, oh no, I think they're the same. I'm gonna keep both of those, probably nice for traveling. Oh, this one's different. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Mary Kay Translucence Loose Powder. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh my gosh, I have a few tart ones here. Smooth Operator, Smooth Operator, Smooth Operator, Smooth Operator, Smooth Operator. So I don't need all of these Smooth Operators. I think I'm just gonna keep this one and get rid of all of these little ones. I have two Smooth Operators. This one looks like it's almost gone. I'm gonna keep the one that's fuller and I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. I have the Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder and Petal. Oh, I think this is what was leaking. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I think it's a little too pinky peach for me. And then I have these little mini, I'm gonna get rid of this Tarte Smooth Operator Tinted Pressed Powder. This is the Laura Mercier Smoothing Finish Foundation. I wanna try this out a little more, so I'm gonna keep that. And then this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I wanna try that. I don't know if I've actually used this. And then I like these. These are by Stellar Beauty. It's the face powder and I have haze. I have two samples. So I'm going to keep both of those. So I just need to put everything back in here. And I think I'm gonna keep the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder for now. I used to love this, but I haven't used it in a while, so let me try it out and then get back to you. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about these. The Rimmel Match Perfection Loose, Silky Loose Face Powder. I'm gonna keep, oof, I know I didn't like one of these and I don't remember which one. Ooh. I'm gonna keep both of these for now. I can't remember which one I didn't like and which one I did like. It was probably the little Silky Loose that I liked and the Mattifying I did not like because I remember one being too dry. Well, which one has more? Yeah, I think it was. I'm gonna keep the Silky one and I'm gonna get rid of the matte one because I think this one's, I'm sure this one's the one I didn't like. guys so that's what my drawer looks like now it's not as excessive as it was it's still a lot of powders for sure but not overflowing like it was so so I'm gonna keep all these for now I'm gonna go through a couple and see if I want to declutter more but um, so I found two more in my drawer this is the collab makeup one I've been using this one it's kill the shine press powder I'm gonna keep this and then this is by collab as well it's the loose set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder I'm gonna keep both of these um, I don't know how I feel about this loose one. I need to play with it more. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Love you. Bye.